Hi, my name's Charlotte Ransom and I'm Chief Executive of NetWealth and I'm joined by Edward Bonham Carter. Edward, it's great to have a chance to talk today, although of course it will have to be a virtual chat. Yeah, well, it's nice to be here, Charlotte. Just in case you need introducing, you're a very well-known name in the world of fund management where you've had a hugely successful career, principally spent at Jupiter Asset Management. During your time at Jupiter, which you ran for many years, you led the company through several key events, including a management buyout and later floating on the stock exchange. And more recently, you were vice chairman during the successful acquisition of Merion Global Investors. In addition to this, you sit on several boards, including ours, where you've been a non-executive director for three years. And now I'm absolutely delighted that you have agreed to step up to the role of chairman at NetWealth. Before we talk about net wealth, um, perhaps we can start by discussing what you view as being the biggest changes to the asset management industry during your career, and perhaps more importantly, how you expect the industry will look 10 years from now. Yeah, well, I joined the industry, it seems a long time ago now, Charlotte, uh, October 1982, which was the start of the great bull market that we've all been experiencing. So I think it's really the whole growth of stock markets and the growth of the industry and the increased globalization, the interconnected nature of world economies and world stock markets. I expect that to continue, but also the continued growth and effects of technology on investing. Yeah, and taking that point of technology, if we think about the world we're living in right now, given the pandemic and the changes to people's lives and work practices and the very real impact on personal finances, the question of how this service evolves is more important than ever. It's been really interesting for us to see clients changing behaviours and the value of having more information readily available and greater control over their investments with better technology. And all of this has become more important given what COVID has imposed on us. Broadly, what impact do you see COVID having had on the wealth and asset management industries? And have they managed through it well so far? Yeah, I mean, of course, it's too early to say to get perspective. We're still in it. Um, but as you say, communication is absolutely key. I mean, obviously, I'm biased, but I think that NetWealth has done an excellent job of communicating with its clients and potential clients right through the pandemic, through the good moments of the markets and also through the more difficult ones. So I think it's reinforced that point of communication. Secondly, I think uh, lockdown has sadly forced us all to turn inwards, not just turn out our cupboards, but look at our financial attics and try and think over the medium and long term about some of the big issues that we're all facing and our clients are facing, which is increased longevity and retirement and how we're going to provide for that. Yeah, I, I think that's absolutely right. Maybe moving on to something related, but slightly different. I want to talk a little bit about um, the world of active management versus passive management. You obviously come originally from the world of active management. While at NetWealth, we focus on the active management of passive investments. And we do this since we believe that a part of everyone's portfolios should take advantage of these very low cost and liquid passive or tracker funds while having us make the decisions around how those funds should be allocated. And by that, I mean, of course, across regions and asset classes. But we believe there's a place for both in investors' portfolios. And I'd love to just hear how you think about the respective roles um, of these two elements to investing. Yeah, it's almost a symbiotic relationship. I mean, you asked earlier about the growth in financial markets over the last 20 or 30 years, and one of them has been the growth of passive investing and low cost strategies. I think it's going to continue, but someone's got to set the price in the market and they tend to be the active investors. So they're going to coexist together. There's a place in people's portfolios for both. The advantage, of course, of passive is the simplicity and the lower cost. And that, of course, is very powerful for individual investors. Yes. Now, let's talk a little bit more about net wealth now. Um, like many of our other shareholders, you and your family have also been clients of net wealth for some time. And clearly, that's also true for me and my family. And I'm interested to hear what particular aspects of the net wealth service would you highlight as being different from, from previous services that you've used? Yeah, I think 
one of the key differences is its hybrid nature. So it's really combining the benefits of both having very clever humans at the end of either a computer or a telephone, or indeed, if we're allowed to go into the office, face-to-face -face meetings, with the power of technology, which makes the whole service very accessible and easy to use for people who may not be financially knowledgeable and skilled. So I think that is extremely powerful, coupled with the fact, as we've said, that it's low cost. And then the other aspect, which I think is uh, a neat thing, is the network effect. Uh, if you have eight members of your family, if you're lucky or unlucky enough to have eight members in your same family, you can take advantage of combining the assets and aggregating your investments to reduce the costs still further. So I like that aspect. Yeah, in fact, you know, just on the network, it's funny, almost three quarters of our clients are in networks now, which, of course, is only possible with great technology. And it's exciting to see how widely it's being taken up. Um, now, Edward, you're moving from a role as non-executive director to chairman. Um, what do you hope that we're going to be able to achieve together for the company and for our clients? Because I think we have some exciting years ahead. Absolutely. It's uh, the next phase of growth. And it's the usual thing. We've got to continue to focus on doing a good job for our clients in terms of service and performance. And if we continue to do that, we'll get our just rewards with more clients and asset growth. And that will then be a symptom of success and a reward for that. I think in addition, as net wealth becomes more well known in the market, uh, we're already getting approaches from small advisory businesses who see the benefit of combining fund management expertise with advice. And that could be an interesting next stage in the development of net worth. Great. Yes, thank you very much. I'm really looking forward to tackling all of this with you. And um, thanks again for stepping up to the role of chairman. And we will be working more closely together as of now. Thank you very much for speaking to us today. Not at all. A real pleasure.